Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing our living room makeover. I am so excited to share our whole DIY of what this living room used to look like. This is what it used to look like and now this is it. It is all finished. If you guys have been following along, my husband and I pretty much sketched out and created this whole wall all on our own. This is real stone, an electric fireplace, built-in cabinets, and the floating shelves. I am so excited the way this wall turned out. We did this all on our own, like I said. My husband has never done anything like this um, other than doing our own backsplash. So it can be done. It was a lot of work, but it can be done for sure. So I'm just gonna kinda go over our whole entire living room and share with you guys everything that is in here. I love the way it turned out. It is so homey. Our living room is definitely the perfect mix of both of our styles i like more clean classic white simple pretty a little farmhouse um, and my husband likes the more dark tones hence the couches and everything so let's go ahead and go through everything i'm so excited to share with you guys all right so starting with our couches these couches are from macy's these are real leather couches. Um, honestly, when we bought these, I thought they were gonna be like that warm brown color. That's what they looked like online, but they ended up being much darker in person, which is okay. Um, so this is two pieces. So this is one sofa here and another love seat over there. They actually had a sectional with the corner piece, but we could not get that shipped to our house for some reason. So we just did the separate couches. They are totally worth the money so easy to clean like that's been my favorite part you just wipe them down with a cloth um totally worth the investment in my opinion this rug is from costco costco always has great rugs for great prices nice big ones and this coffee table is from ashley's it took a while to get here but it's nice because it does open and have storage in there there's pillows in there so i am going to share all our decor as well this tray is from home goods home goods Hobby Lobby old and I think Hobby Lobby too old so that is what is on our coffee table all of our pillows are from Target and let's go ahead and share the wall because this is obviously like the main thing we do have an electric fireplace down here let me turn it on real quick so we do have an electric fireplace comes with a little remote so we have that down there it does actually do heat or you can turn it off which is nice next is our mantle so this is just pieces of wood stained then we have our TV, and then here is the close-up of the stone. This is real stone, it's like uneven. I love the way it looks, it's so pretty. If you guys followed me on Instagram, we were kind of asking you guys for different choices and whatnot, so it's super fun. If you haven't followed me over there, I always ask you guys for your opinions, which is always great. So these cabinets are built into the wall, and we got these from Lowe's, I believe. Lowe's or Home Depot, I'm not totally sure, but I will link everything that I can. Um, they were a dark brown, but my husband painted them white. That was a lot cheaper to buy them dark and paint them white. So they were in pieces when we bought them, so you do have to put them together, but it's really nice having all this storage, just nice big drawers. All this stuff is just super, super nice. So that's the color that they were in there. We painted them white. We put hardware on from Amazon. We bought these butcher block countertops. My husband had to cut them. We did some electrical up here, which was nice too. So starting over here with decor, these are our floating shelves. We stained this the same color as the mantle, um, but it came out a little lighter because the wood was lighter. So the plant is from Home Goods. The clock is from Hobby Lobby. This print is from Home Goods, and then these are both from Hobby Lobby. The plant up in the top corner is from Target. The little metal decor thing is from Home Goods. Those boxes are from Target, and those two faux plants are also from Home Goods. This little decor item is from Target. The beads are from Hobby Lobby. So if you guys have seen me joke about this thing, obviously I don't want him here, but it's almost a joke now. My husband does these online auctions and he bid on this and won it and we thought it was going to be like super tall when we googled what the hell it was but it ended up being this small little thing and it's just like a funny thing now because why the hell would I want this on my counter I don't know but here he is. So we have the same cabinets with the butcher block countertop over here. We have the outlet over there as well. We built in so that we could put our speakers here, which is nice. So here's the shelf. I just have a couple coffee table books that I got at Home Goods. This little marble 
rainbow is from Target. Husband picked out this. This is from Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, and an old floral, I think, from Ross. And then way up there, we have another print that matches the other one from Home Goods. The little star is from Hobby Lobby. The plant is from Target. Little face thing is from Home Goods. No, Hobby Lobby. And then the basket is from Home Goods. And then over here, we just have little marble coasters. My husband picked this out. This isn't really me, but you know, compromise. We have a little tree from, where is that one from? I think that one's from Home Goods. And then this lamp is from Target. So here is an overview, and I forgot the fan is from Lowe's. It's huge, but it's super nice. Great for the space. Oh no! So yeah, this is the overview of our living room. I absolutely love it. Um, it is finally complete, which is so nice. We actually just need to put these on still, which I don't know why that's not done, but it's not. So this is the overview of our living room. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had such a good time just making this space more us and I cannot wait to do more projects. So definitely follow along if you're interested in that and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.